I'm at the home and the ancestral family workshop of a master Quevre making family. What is Quevre? It's these gigantic wine vessels that have been used for 8,000 years and are still used to this day. It's so important that even UNESCO recognizes them for their contribution to humanity. Here's more in this next report. With every chunk, knead, and roll of clay, Zaza Gviryashvili is sculpting an ancient Georgian technology into a work of art. Gvevri is like a living creature that can fill everything. Zaza is the fourth generation of his family of Gvevri masters. We can't talk about the Georgian culture of wine without talking about Kvevri. The Kvevri is a huge egg-like vessel, and for me as a master, I have to know the whole philosophy of making the Kvevri. You have to think about the shape, temperature, and weather conditions. As a child, Zaza remembers learning the delicate handicraft from his father. Our ancestors throughout the centuries have held it in their own hands, like the last portion of food. It's a matter of survival for this 8,000-year-old technology, and it's part of our family's identity. I'm proud to be the next generation of my ancestors, and also extremely proud that my next generation, number five, will be doing the same thing. The secret sauce in the village of Vardisubani in eastern Georgia is the soil itself, which naturally consists of clay. But the process of making these huge egg-like vessels is no walk in the park. Zaza adds a 10 centimeter layer, one at a time, allowing it to dry before adding the next layer. The most complicated part is building the neck of the kvevri. Because of the round shape, we have to go inside and make it so strong that it won't collapse. So this dark room is where the kvevri are born. After at least a month in this dark room, the egg-shaped vessels are put inside this oven, where they bake at 1,000 degrees for a week. We have to tear down the wall every time we take the kvevre out of the oven. And then while it's still warm, we cover the inside with beeswax and the outside with mud and let it sit for weeks before being buried and used to make wine. Overall, the whole process takes three months from beginning to end. An independent study by the University of Pennsylvania has confirmed that Georgia's 8,000-year-old wine industry is indeed the oldest in the world, namely because of the timeless Kvevre technology. And each egg-shaped vessel can ferment 2,000 liters, filling up to 2,000 bottles of wine. <laughs>